Welcome to Comic League Gaming 123. Uh, end of December. The end of our top ten list. Are you guys hyped for this or what? Yeah. Oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you gotta Welcome get great. everybody <laughs> to Comic <laughs> Gaming, episode 123. 123, 1, 2, 3. This is our top 10 video games of the year show, Ooh, also great. our last show of 2018. Ooh. Love for Comic League Gaming, being all bye, new bye. and fresh and refreshed in 2019. Uh, bye, bye. And refresh. Take it back to our uh, roots and... and <laughs> And give you weekly. We're coming back at you, you weekly. Weekly. <laughs> weekly. I can't wait. It is going to be Trey. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let's move on here. Uh, top 10 video games of 2018. Again, we our only rule is that there are no rules. It's up to mm -hmm. us how we want to rate these. I know me and Corey were pretty uh, adamant about we want them to to be games that we beat, but when I went back and watched last year's show, that was not the case for everybody, so whatever. Mm -hmm. no, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's our list. Impossible. I will never have I, any. I beat them all, though. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I did too. All this right, will so be crazy. I'll kick it off. We're going to just blow through our bottom five is to not make these yep. shows two hours each. Uh, my number ten was I put near Automata ending oh. A. So anybody who's played near Automata, number 10. ending A is not the end of the game. Yes, number 10. Okay, ending A. Ending A. <laughs> that, oh, that's not, does, doesn't count. It counts for me, Corey. The only rule is this. No, it, it does. For it me. does. That's my number 10. All right. Sure it does. Okay. Whatever. Number 9, uh, a game that I don't think has an ending, Sea of Thieves. Oh, I uh, forgot about Damn it. Number 8, I had Forza Horizon 4. Damn it. Number number seven, uh, pretty much thanks to Dirk, uh, Pinball FX3. Uh, seven. <laughs> and then uh, number six, I had Shovel Knight, the Plague of Shadows expansion storyline, which is basically the whole game over again. I, I love Shovel Knight. Nobody here should, that should be a surprise to. Uh, yeah, number five, oh, I got Titanfall 2. Ooh, really, really great two. game. I didn't wow. play any multiplayer at all. But the single player was strong enough for it to be my fifth best game of the year. I'm gonna go get it. If that's number five for you, I will go and get that. That's a great yeah. game. Yeah, I didn't beat it yet. It's usually cheap too. It's usually yeah. ten bucks. Something yeah. As long as you get it for cheap, it's cool. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't spend sixty bucks on it. But anyway. no. All right. Who's Dirk? next? Dirk. All right. My number ten is Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm. I just started playing a little bit of that, uh, but I stopped. Um, number nine is No Man's Sky. Mm. Uh, number eight is Shadow of War. Oh yeah. I'm number seven is number seven would be higher, but the other games kicked its ass. It's Pinball FX3, mm. so I share that with Nate. Nice. Uh, nice. I play that game every day. Uh, yes, he does. Every single day. Number six is Spider Man. Wow. Ooh, number six. Yeah, I know. Really? Uh, and number five oh, is Divinity 2, people, oh, nice. because that is the best RPG in a video game of all time. <laughs> Book it. Girl. Book it, Dano. Right Girl. there. I'm telling you, if you're a D&D &D fan, yeah, if you like D&D. &D. I, I, I agree. I, I have Divinity 2 on my list, but since we're talking about it now, it, I, I really do like it. it. It's amazing. It is an amazing D and D game the interaction in that is unparalleled. Like the environment, is, just having it's the stuff fun. you can do with everything around you. Yep, so it is amazing at the freedom that they allow you to just try for stuff. Me, yeah, D and D, like I don't know, like it's not fun as like a single player experience it's this or is like different. a two player. Experience. Oh, there's so much in this game, though, Corey. Did you play yeah, it? Well, no, I played the first one a little bit with Nate. No, no, you gotta play D two. Yeah, the first one was broken. We didn't make it farther than yeah. a half an hour outside of town. Yeah, oh, that's true. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That wasn't yeah. a good example. Derek, what do you okay. compare that to? I know you have Pillars also. Like I like Pillars yeah. more, but I didn't play Divinity. It's 2 in the though. same. No, it's in the same vein. I would say uh, it, it definitely has the same amount of dialogue that Pillars does, but there's a certain. 
ability of interactivity with your environment that D2 has that I've just never experienced in a video game. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, outside of the big, like, AAA RPGs, you know. Sure. Uh, this, but you can literally, like, every single thing you do has an effect somewhere else. and It's just, it's it's crazy. Yeah, there, I do Jeff like... can testify to this, that, like, well, he had... You... Like we played the game at the same time, and we had vastly different, different experiences. Experience. Oh yeah, in Divinity oh, yeah. One, I really liked. Like, if there was oil on the ground, you could set it on fire. If there was yes. fire there, you could use a rain spell. Like, yeah. there's yeah. always like some type of elemental interaction. Yeah, yeah. but it does. It doesn't work on burning pigs for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. All right. What, what are your bottom? Oh, uh, my bottom. So number 10 would be Monster Hunter World. The reason why it's the bottom is I did not beat it because I got pissed off at the grind at the end. And I said, fuck you. So my number nine would be Divinity 2. Um, World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth, the latest expansion, is at my number eight. Eight? Because I, I've just been playing WoW for 14 years. So I do pick it up and I put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Um, most of the games at the bottom are there because I haven't beat them. So number seven would be Assassin's Creed Odyssey because I haven't beat it yet. And then number six would be Red Dead Redemption 2 because I have not beat it yet. Six. And my number five was Far Cry 5. Wow. So let me just ask you. beat this, it? Just I did. I beat it. I'm curious wow. about your, your scoring system. <clears throat> Okay. So, is Red Dead Two going to be available for you your list next year when you do beat it? Like, that's why I don't do that because um, it depends on if I do get around to beating be. it. So, it might and be, okay. it, it depends on what other games come you out. Could. But I'll keep. I have this list, so I will keep that in mind when I make next year's list. Gotcha. Uh, most likely, it won't be on the list. Gotcha. Uh, unless it's an epic ending, like my number. Two and number one. I mean, one. I just can't imagine when all said and done, the Red Dead Redemption Two is a worse game than Far Cry Five. I, no, I don't know. I like Far Cry. It a really that's crazy. Up More than Red Dead. Dead? It's like, crazy yeah. talk. Yeah. yeah. No okay. way. No way. Yeah. That's wild, wild Jeff. Yeah. I like Far Cry. You need to think about your life was... choices. No. Yeah, ask me. I'll tell you no way all day, but all right, Corey, I like. You got? I like Far Cry Five. For what? Bottom and then yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wolfenstein Two. Nice. Number 10. A great game. Sweet. Great game. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Number 9. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Number 8. Uh, Bayonetta 2. Number 7. Spider-Man. Wow. Number, number 6. Hellblade. Mm. And number 5. Monster Hunter World. Um, it's great. A great game. Love playing it with my bro. And, um, uh, yes, I have that a little bit higher on the list also. Um, I, I agree, Jeff, that spot in the game is broken, but that really was only like two hours out of the 70 that right. I put in. Right, exactly. So yeah. 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 Maybe, um, and maybe. I didn't even, that grind didn't bother me. I should say that for my review. Yeah. That grind, I was farming for a, a armor set from like that, and, it didn't even bother. It, I didn't even realize that there was a grind. Right. There was no grind for me. It really bothered me. And and I, still I love that. higher on my list just because it was it was this yeah. year's new unique experience for me. It was right. when I was playing with my buddies. It, it was unlike anything I've ever played in the past. I know this is it, the first Monster Hunter game, but for me, it was. It yeah, made, me too. It, it did make my yeah, top ten out of one. top. I have twenty games that I've played. So, I mean, it, it like made. 50. Totally. It made the cut. Totally. And I was going to school, so we know how long that was. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> All right, Dirk, number four. Number Start four off, is, yeah. I, I hate saying it, dude, but number four is Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I, I don't like putting it here because I'm obsessed with this game right now. Um, yeah. uh, I just, the three at the top, I can't, I can't move. Right? You know? <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. uh, but, but Red Dead oh, is on. Red Dead is phenomenal. I can move one of your top games. I can move no. it. I did. I can't. Uh, so, Red Dead, I mean, the mechanics really bothered me in some spots, but then I realized that they're there for a reason. There's like, 
it like the game is built to be that intricate because it, like they they have to. There's no other controller like buttons on the controller. They have to make yeah. it that way. Yeah. You know. I, I fully disagree oh. with that statement. Are I still we talking think about Red Dead now? It that much. There's too many things to do in that game for the. What game just... are we talking about? Right? Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, like the farming, oh uh, the uh, the the fishing mechanic, like I the fishing drove me bananas. Dude, I am Arthur. I am Arthur. Absolutely. I'm Arthur Morgan. I am. Like, that's me. And that's my my niece made fun of me last week when I was. I speak in that place down to my Florida. wife, Corey. Yeah, we were I down in Florida, and my kitchen, niece, like, I got. You all go on, girl. You get out of here. Yeah, I, I got drunk, and I I don't remember what I said, but my niece the next day was like. You kept saying I'm a cowboy. I'm a motherfucking cowboy. And I was like, like, yeah, because I am. I'm fucking Arthur Morgan. That's who I am. It's a really awesome world to live in. in Yeah, it's so fun. So I just... Great to game, the, the, I, I agree. I still hate the gun mechanics. I will say yeah, that. I still hate they, suck. Like they do suck, but yeah, that's but I'm not talking about that's that. That's not enough. The feels I got from that game. I mean <laughs> It's awesome, dude. I'm Did only at the second game. I felt like, cow- I felt like a cowboy. Did I was a cowboy? I was Arthur. <laughs> yeah, cowboy. I beat Did a last night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Last night. Awesome. Yeah, uh, ten, Jeff, ten. number four. Number four is uh, Detroit Become Human. Detroit. I really just yeah. I love that game, dude. I really have, no. it was fun playing with Where's against this? Corey. It, it was a lot of fun playing against Corey because I could look in my friends my stats when I completed a story and I could see oh, what dude. choices Corey made and what choices I made and how our results like really skewed the the storyline. But overall, yeah, it sucked for me. I was the first one to play it, and I was like, "Damn it! I wish I knew what my friends would pick." <laughs> uh, no, I I really did like Detroit Become Human. It was it great was, game. It was yeah. a great game. I, I love the story. I love the the reveals. And, the controls just, are a little wacky, but the quick time whatever. gets a little annoying, but you get used yeah. to it. But it's yeah. it's very merciless in the quick time. Yeah, Corey. So, you're number four? Number four, God of War. Huh? Wow, number four. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. How's that possible? He, no, oh, he had it's... dropped hints, Nate. He had dropped hints <laughs> that it was going that way. Number four, God of War. What uh, three great. games could be better than God of War? Like, I, I can right tell you exactly. I, right 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 now. Now. I, know. I know exactly I, what his I number one is. He already that, said yeah. Spider-Man. So. Spider-Man's already in there. Yeah, yeah he had Spider-Man way right low. I know. Yeah, I know it is. I, there's one I'm missing that I don't know, but I know the other two. Huh. And I know where they're placed. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll go out when we're talking about God of War. I'll, I'll, it's, it's, it's my, my number one. second favorite game of all time. I'll my number one. Yeah. Your you number one game of all time? No, 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 not of all time, but it's my number one this year. Oh, this year, yeah. 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 The, to me, it's number two of all time with a bullet. It, was it beat so out awesome. number two by a hair. That was yeah. decent. It, it had... The I don't like that little kid. He's don't a little asshole. Corey, it's not decent. <laughs> that little kid was a little asshole. Only for a portion. There's a reason. A little bit, dude. It, and they Come on. It. That was only a portion of the game, and they explained exactly. it. Exactly. Whatever. It, Whatever. Yeah. I think you have to be a fan of mythology to appreciate that game. Yeah, that, yeah. Game, that game is by far, the way that it treated mythology made it its own and what was respectful of what has been come before um, was so, so awesome. And then just to me, like, the thing that puts it above everything else is that that action is the most fun action, video that's game why, action. That's why, it, that's why it has to play this on my list, because the action is so fun. That's a fun-ass game to play. It's so fun. When you're fighting and you can parry and shit, it's it's fun. Like, yeah. you have a good You gotta give it up, man. That. Dude, that... You gotta give it up. Plus yeah, the impactful moments of the game, the, the main That's moments, my number four. The, so. Yeah, I know. I'm just talking about it while it's here. I, I feel like that, that spot where where things go kind of sideways for Kratos, and he yeah. has to go back home for a minute, like, oh, yeah. that yeah. was some crazy stuff. Like, yes. that, that when, when everything goes red... And that's happening to him, and, and he's seeing things from his past around him. And oh, stuff. yeah. Like, Listen. It just the, really blew me away. 
the soundtrack alone gave it like fucking three yeah. points for me. Yeah, I agree. The I'm saying it's great. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and just that. Yeah. When he's like moving, you hear the choir in the back. Yeah, oh my god! The the upgrades Stop. throughout the game, I think, <laughs> are are the best of any game that I've ever played in the way of making gameplay upgrades. Oh, this is number one. Apparently, take, take part in the game. He already right? said. Yeah. So yeah, me and Dirk both said that. The yeah, the, congrats, the, guys. The fact, the <laughs> way that those guys combo their moves by the end of the game that they are not doing in the beginning of the game, they're kind of fighting with each other and arguing at each other, and at the end when they're like a kung fu team, like it just yeah. blows me away. Blows me those away. action sequences are crazy. My number four, we have four, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's where I have Monster Hunter World. Um, and Very then tough. Corey, you start off three. Number three, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead. Dude, I'll tell you what, dude. I love that game. I love it. I do it. love it, man. Like, I love it. It's, it's, I, it's, uh, it's like, I, I didn't really think love I would top, love it. Initially, three, I didn't think I would love it. My top three, I love them all so much. Like, <laughs> it's crazy to describe. Like, <laughs> I am Arthur Morgan. I'm Arthur Morgan. Red Dead's Moore. a slow burn, I I'm feel Arthur like. Moore. I didn't. Yeah, exactly. Initially. Dude, by the end of it, by yeah. the end of it, you're like, this is, yeah. I said it, my niece, my niece was making fun of me when I was blackout drunk saying I'm a, a motherfucking cowboy. <laughs> because that's who I am. I'm Arthur Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I right. fucking love that game. It's such a great game. It's, it, and by the end of it, it's 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 an emotional roller coaster, and it's a great game that, uh, that, there you well, go. More than the first one, it'll stand the test of time. It's a if, great fucking game. Oh, you, absolutely. If uh, you are Arthur Morgan, then I am a high school boy because my number three was Doki Doki Literature Club. Same here! Same here! Yeah! Three. Number three! <laughs> yeah. Really? Three. That's my number two. That's my number two. Uh, so, that's, that's my number three. Last year around this time, everybody was talking about Doki Doki Literature Club, yeah. and we all played it like right after our game of the year discussions or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go play it again. Actually, yeah, it, it just blew yeah. us all away, right? Like, yeah, I mean, such it redefines. Of you, Nate, to get into it, and then you convince them to fucking play it. <laughs> right? I'm gonna you say something me to play here. You, I felt you, dirty you playing it. You halfway through playing it, and you were like, "I, I don't. It's weird, dude." I feel like I'm talking to high school girls, and uh, I, I don't know if I can continue playing it. I didn't even I feel like, weird no, when I was doing it. I didn't it. feel keep weird. It. I, was I like, felt keep like Corey it. when I was you doing it. Get it, and then you did. You got it. <laughs> the scene, the scene when you put chocolate in Yuri's mouth, yeah, was the one I almost stopped playing <laughs> because I was like, "Oh, this is too weird right now. <laughs> Everything just got too weird." Like, it, dude. It, even in game, no. they were both like, "Whoa, that's weird." Yep, and then Listen, they both just moved on. That yeah. thing, that experience, because I can't even call it just a game. Yeah, it, was, it was a storytelling experience that unwrapped. It was I'm unlike that. anything I that I've ever like. Oh. I have trouble putting it on this list because it it just it was so bizarre and out there as an experience. You know, like it was unlike any game that I've ever played. I mean it. I know that it's a visual novel slash game, like you have object, whatever. But it was, it was, yeah. it was just so amazing. Like yeah. the, the shocks at the end. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Was sat with me. Great. I was paralleled, like just, just in my chair, just like paralyzed. Could not, All right. paralyzed. That in my so chair, fun. could not move. Yeah. It's that's so weird. The crazy <laughs> shit that it does and stuff. It's such a fun. That was a great game. Great game. Uh, yeah. Great game. Yep, great game. Number Jeff, three. What do you got for number three? Doki Doki. Oh, you do too. Okay. I do too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're up to number two, and Dirk goes first. Yeah, it's Corey's number one, Celeste. Celeste. Oh, I forget. Yeah, yeah, I didn't put that on there. I didn't. Yeah. It's Corey's number one, so yeah. we should probably talk about it. Talk um, about it. It's. Uh, <laughs> There's a strange relationship with that game, right? Besides the story, game is satisfying. The story is so incredible, and it, it deals with so much stuff that uh, it's just it's not. Phenomenal. 
Yeah, it is. It's not your typical platformer by a mile. But also, there's this other angle where you obsess about the levels and beating them, right? I don't know, Corey, if you went through this, but I would think about levels when I went to work, and I'm, I was thinking, like, how am I going to get it up there? How do I get past this? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, it's weird. Like, like, like I told you, you need to take a break and let your muscles yeah, remember the memory. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, <laughs> and because then and then your hands just work it. the next time you play. So yeah. you don't even you don't even think about it. Yeah, and then and then and then the music progresses. The and music you get I have on vinyl. You get I have the soundtrack on vinyl. When your when your hands are moving without you thinking about it, and then the music progresses to the next step. Brilliant. Really? You're like, yes, this is you did. so fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, it's yep. so good. That's what it's made a it. feeling you don't get in any other video game ever. No, dude, is there such a so sense of accomplishment good. when you beat it's something good. there? You're just like, oh my god, I got past it. And then the music's yeah. rushing, the wind is yeah. blowing. It's awesome. So good. And then <laughs> Celeste makes her little weird voice and tells you some real yeah. cool story <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> and I've been playing Towerfall lately, and Celeste and her dark self are playable characters in Towerfall. What? So, are that you serious? Super fun. That's crazy. We played five player the other day when we were playing D and D. I brought my Switch over. We hooked it up to his TV. And we played five player uh, Towerfall, and Celeste. I was Celeste, and my. Uh, oh. they, uh, awesome. I didn't dominate. I wish I could say I dominated, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that time this year. I'll, I'll play it soon. Every, everybody says that it's great. So I, I definitely will so, yeah, see it. Yeah. I gotta get through. I, I, I'm at like chapter three, I think. Dude, it's hard. It is a it hard is. game. So I remember, hard. hurt my fingers. Oh yeah, it's hard <laughs> it reminded me of Nintendo, like the old school. I, yeah. I'm up for eight hours. You know, I'm eleven, trying to break Master Blaster sort of game. <laughs> you know, Jeff. Mm. Uh, Spider-Man was number two because I, I love the feel of the whole game. I just I thought it was a total I package. Spider-Man's I, I, great. I really love the story. Best superhero game of all time. It is, and, and I think that's why I fell in love. And I loved it so much that I actually did a hundred percent on it before the DLC. And you know, not many games make me want to like. I've got to get this trophy. I've got to get this trophy. game of all time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Corey, so, what you got yeah. number two? Number two. Number two is Doki Doki, number Doki Doki. one last. Doki Doki Literature Club. And my number two is not on nobody else's list this year. Uncharted 4 was my number two oh, game. Oh, of the year. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I the Look at this you. Year. Yeah, it's a really, great really game. great. You know, yeah. if it wasn't for God of War, it would be my second favorite game of all time. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I loved it, loved it. Just loved the way that they tied up everybody's story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, across so the I got crazy and said something about the game there. But uh, just really super, again, uh, the, my, my theme of all these shows that we had this month about our top you ten list is characters, right? You have to play all those games, right? though. You have to play all those games. You do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. For sure. You have to play yeah. every For one sure. of them through those, four. By once the, you play one through four, by the end of four, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's just a couple moments in that game that aren't even really that big of a deal if – it wasn't for how awesome, how much you love those characters at that point in the yep. adventure, right? And uh, yeah, it just kind of hit you, hit you in that spot. Yeah. So yeah. that that's my number two. We already got everybody else's, and then back to number one. Mine was God of War. Dirk's God, was of, God War. of War. Jeff's is God of War. Uh, Corey's <laughs> was lost, right? That dude, that's admirable. Listen, Corey, I I, I toyed with it. It went back and forth. I know you me. did. God did, of War was I not the clear the winner. Whole year, the whole year. I know. Because Celeste came out in like February. Yeah. And Dude, I, I try and compare every game to it, and I'm like, no, Celeste is better. God of War is not the mile the above. The feels Celeste. I got from it Celeste. Goes, when, it's like this. When that music progresses, I know. and you're vibing through the level, you get this feeling that you don't get in any other video game. Like, Dude, it's, it's you know what the so other thing is? Good. Like, when I saw, like, the top of the mountain above me, like, three levels above, I'm right. like, I'm going to yeah. fucking beat this I'm shit. I was telling Vanessa, summit. I was like, yeah. I'm going to beat this shit. I'm, like, yelling. <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, this game, I'm going to beat real. it. It's so good. <laughs> it is. And it's, like, 64-bit is what the kids have been telling me. I yeah. called it 8-bit, and they made fun of me and said 64-bit. Definitely 64-bit. Which is what it yeah. is. But it's... 
I mean, it's the, you they can't were, well, da- you can't downgrade it for the graphics. People try and downgrade it for the oh, graphics. Oh no, dude, oh, it has no. nothing to do with style. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Graphics have nothing to do with how good that game is. I know I've only played like a couple, but if I had gotten closer to beating it, it probably would have been on my list. But it's just a. It's I a, have it's, so many fucking games on my list this year. It's a task, man. It's uh, it's not an easy. <clears throat> I had like six. All right, let's, let's throw them <laughs> in the computer. Check out our buddies over at Mutiny Info Cafe, where they not only have a great selection of used books, records, and great coffee, but they also have a fantastic selection of new and used comic books, graphic novels, and more. Mutiny Information Cafe in Denver at the corner of Broadway and Ellsworth, and online at mutinyinfocafe.com. Okay, so the computer spit this list back out to us, and here we go with the official 2018 Comically Gaming Game of the Year list. Number 10, oh. number 10 is a tie between 10 and 11. Oh. Uh, that would be Titanfall 2 and Far Cry 5. Oh, and nice. Tied for last place, right? Dude, Far Cry 5 was fun. I really did like that game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The, uh, All right, let's go. Dead or Divinity Original Sin 2 comes Damn. in at number 9. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's on the list. It deserves better than what? that. Seven, 7 and 8 was a tie between Uncharted 4 and Detroit Become Human. Wow. <laughs> that's a tie mm. for 7 to 8. That's, that's rough. 6, <laughs> lower than I would have liked to see it, Monster Hunter World. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That should have been top 5. Fifth was Spider-Man. Nice. Fourth was fair. Celeste. Nice. Really? Third, wow. I think we'll be one of the few places that has Red Dead Redemption 2 in third place for a game yeah. of the year this year. Yeah. yeah. So, no. uh, number two, because nobody's going to have Doki Doki Literature Club <laughs> as their number two game of 2018. I love you, Besides Doki Doki! Gaming, yep. <laughs> I love you, Doki Doki. Doki. Which makes our number one. What was her name? Manica? It's God of War. Monica. Monica, God of War yeah, is number one. Monica. Congratulations. Yeah, God of War. God of War. God of War. <laughs> Decent. Jeez. Number four on my list. <laughs> this is why we don't go by just Corey's list. But boom, welcome to the final GCNC Community Corner of the Year. Uh, this is... Uh, the. This is where we give back to our friends, the people that we've made special relationships with, and uh, we love them all. Um, and they they support yeah. us, we support them. And uh, if you if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, hit these people up. They'll help you out. Um, They're the greatest. Bad to the bone. Bad. B to the bone. Bone's the best. Some bone is awesome. What a bone. Artwork bone. for him. <laughs> Thank you. We Thank love you, did. bro. We appreciate and he it. spread my name to yeah. other people, so it's awesome. Captain Thank you, Emo. Cap. Emo. Cap. House. Emo. Oh. Every week. Cap. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you, Cap. We love you. You come. You support us so much. Thank you, Cap. Foda. 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 I don't think anybody uh, on Twitter spreads our name more than Foda. No, I don't know. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foda, thank you, Foda. We love you. Um, couple up, gaming. Couple up. Mr. Whole crew. Uh, she, she keeps playing uh, through. Um, uh, what's the game? Uh, her big game is. Uh, I don't remember it right now. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. Couple up, gaming. We love you every um, week. Yep. Ashley writes review. Ashley, oh, sure. I talk Ashley's to awesome. every single week. Yep, she's awesome. She's a fellow vegan. I mean, I'm kind of vegan, but she's full throttle. Uh, yeah, you, I see you're yeah. kind of pretty veggie. Before. You're pretty yeah. veggie. <laughs> I'm pretty veggie. Yeah, and we she's she's hip on it, and we talk about it all the time. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Dirk loves his food pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah, I oh, forgot I to bombard shit, her. Man. I'm Cajun. What can you say? All right. Next up is Hannah Adventures. Hannah Adventures. Yeah, he's awesome. What up, Hannah? Yeah, Hannah, oh, Hannah, every day. Every day he comments. Yep. Rab. 
<laughs> Rav is really <laughs> awesome. Rav, 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 no, he goes out of his way yeah. to try and stay up until like three, four o'clock in the morning to watch our stream sometime on Sunday. Yeah, because he's Scottish, right? Uh, Thank you, yeah. Thank you, Rav. We love you. Always in our comments too. Um, oh yeah. yeah, comic book fan, nineteen ninety two. Comic book fan, nineteen ninety two is awesome. He's the yes. only one in yeah. our Discord that's active. Thank Rocking. you all we the time appreciate too, it, bro. He's, we appreciate yeah. it. As for he sure. indicates, he's hip on awesome comics. Oh yeah, specifically yeah. from the nineties. He knows that shit. So yeah, we love you, comic book fan, and. She said she was level 18. We love your name. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we do. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate your support all day, for sure. Retired Saints Gaming. That's the crew. Yep. That's the crew, right? Yeah, they're all the streams. Yeah, all of a sudden, we're getting slammed. Oh, we love it when you guys do that. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's... We it's a take great a feeling. Them and do that to other people sometimes. We should. Like, bomb in. Yeah. Just yeah. see bomb. <laughs> bomb. L Jam Bro. Uh, uh, L Jam Bro. L Jam Bro. And, and TWG7. That's Tiny yeah. Limey Girl 7. Proudly, it's our great. nicest shout out of nicest, all time. Best shout out I've ever best heard. Best shout out. Yep. Best shout out forever. Totally. Yep. All yeah, right. really, really sure. appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you so much for supporting us throughout the years. Like we, family. Yeah, yeah. And again, if you watch our show and uh, you're clicking around YouTube, please hit up these people's uh, shows as well. I'll, I'll put links down in the, the description of this of this video. Um, so that's it. That's a year. That's it. That's the games of years. Thanks, guys. I love you guys. I love doing this with you guys. Can't wait. Awesome. Love it. Can't wait for the weekly again. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Weekly. Yeah. Appreciate that. Um, Comically Gaming, everybody. It drops every Tuesday for free on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, and at YouTube.com slash GCANDC. Uh, it's important to us that the show is free for all, but it's not free for us to create. So if you could support us over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, that's patreon.com slash GCANDC. We would really, really appreciate that. Yeah, and if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's uh, we're at GCANDC. And uh, um, you can follow our Facebook group. And, and check out our Discord channel. Boom. <laughs> and our Discord yeah. Culture. If you really want to go out there, get a T-shirt, like Jeff and I have. Yeah, I'm gonna that buy five you more. For I'm wearing it too. It's just, I got a hoodie instead. over there. Yeah, chunk those ugly sweaters and get some of this. Uh, yeah. Do we and, have uh, hoodies? No, we can. We, we can. can. We can if there's one. Sure. I will buy one. Because we we always want to thank Fred Thomas for opening music and C Rider for the logo and I always thank, thank you, you for joining us this week. Yep. See you next year. Thanks, everybody. Next year. Later. <laughs>